Hey guys, welcome back. So our last tutorial, we finished off with us creating a game instance to keep track of player progress between levels. But what happens when we stop playing? The game instance is great for remembering what occurred, so long as it all happens in one continuous binge of playtime. Once you stop though, it has an episode of amnesia, and if you try and start your game back up again, it will have erased everything. So how do we keep track of game data once the computer shuts down? Well, for that, we're going to have to leave the world of the Unreal and enter the real. And to do that, we're going to need a special tool called a save game object. So let's create one and see how it works. So we're going to right click here in the content browser and we're going to go to blueprint class and we're going to search for save game. And you see right here it says save game. We're going to select that and we will call this tutorial save game. And we can double click here and we're just going to create two variables in our save game object. First one is going to be a boolean, and we'll just call it level one complete. And the second one is going to be score. And I'll put in parentheses save. And we're going to make this an integer. Now we can compile and save this. Score will be defaulted to zero. Level one complete is defaulted to false. And that's all we're going to need to do within our tutorial save game object. <clears throat> so next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our game instance here and we're going to create a couple new functions. First one we're going to create is called save game. And what we're going to do in here is when we call this, we're going to save out the player score and we're going to save out whether or not they completed level one. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the player score game. And we're going to drag off of here and we're going to say create save game object. And the object we're going to want to create is our tutorial save game. And then we can right click here and promote this to a variable called save game reference. And then we're going to want to drag out of this and say set level one complete and set score. So we're going to check this. We'll hook that up like that. And we're going to set our score to our player score game. And finally, what we're going to do is we're going to drag out of here and say save game to slot. And this is actually going to create a file on your hard drive that we'll be able to get back later when we start the game up after a shutdown. And just give your slot a name. I'm just going to call it zero. Make sure this slot name is the same when you're saving and loading. So we can compile and save that. And the other function we're going to create will be called load game. And what this is going to do is it's first going to check and see if we have a game to load. So we can type does save game exist. And we want to make sure we're looking in the same slot, so zero. And we can hold B and click, create a branch node, and hook these up. And if a save game does exist, so if this is true, we will type in load game from slot. And again, make sure your slot is the same, zero. And we're going to need to cast to our tutorial save game because we have to make sure that we're pulling in the right um, game data here. And now that we have that, we can get level one complete and we can also get score. And then we're going to create these two variables within our game instance. Well, one extra one, the level. We already have the player score, so add one here, level one complete, and we'll drag this out and hold alt so that we can set it. 
and the score from the save game, we're going to drag out our player score game, hold Alt, hook this up, and then we'll be able to set our player score of the game to whatever our saved game data was. Off of the false, we don't have to do anything. So if no save game exists, we don't have to worry. So compile and save this. Finally, we will go into our widget. And this is what happens when we have a coin victory. We set our game instance score. And what we're going to want to do is call the function save game. So that will come into our game instance here. And it will set this level one complete and it will set our game score to our set the uh, current game score from the game instance into our save game object and then save that out to our hard drive. So we can compile and save. The last thing we're going to want to do is right click and just create a new level. And we'll just call this main menu. And we'll double click here. And we'll just have a completely black level. It's not really important right now. And we'll click here on the blueprint tab and go to the level blueprint. And off of begin play, we're going to have a little bit of a delay, a couple seconds, just so that we can see this happening. And then we're going to want to cast to game, our tutorial game instance. And we can drag out here and say get game instance. And then we can call our load game. So now we can compile and save. Now if I hit play, actually I think I forgot one thing. Go back into our game instance. So for the load game, after we do this, we're going to want to open level. And the level we're going to want to open, if we have a save game, that means we would have completed level 1. So we'll go to second level. And if we don't, we'll want to open the first level. Now we can compile and save. And now we'll hit play. We'll give it a couple seconds, and you see it's started us on level one. So we're going to collect our coins. We now transition to level two, where we have 14 points. So I'm going to hit escape. And now we're back on level one, or in the main menu. Don't have to worry about that. Now we're going to hit play, give it a couple seconds. And you see it starts us on level 2 with 14 coins. And that is how you can save and load game data. Alright guys, I hope you thought that was helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned for more tutorials. Alright, see you guys later.